Good morning and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. Thank you all for tuning in with me this morning. This morning recipe will be pork chops with apples. Apple sage pork chops. That's the name of this recipe. So I'm doing apple sage pork chops with um, some fresh broccoli and some fresh um, zucchini and squash. I'm going to be steaming those vegetables together. And I'm doing mashed potatoes. I'm not going to do homemade mashed potatoes. I'm doing mashed potatoes out the box. But they're going to be garlic mashed potatoes. And we're going to have that with an apple sage um, pork chops and a little gravy with an apple sage pork chops. Okay, not the kind, not the 40 weight gravy, the kind of gravy that you, you're thinking about. But it's going to be gravy to go over the mashed potatoes. And it's going to be good. This is a very good dish. My kids love it. I had a friend that came from L.A. visiting visiting me. And I invited her to dinner. And she asked me, she said, Joanne. I said, yeah. She said, can I have some more? I said, sure. So I gave it some more. She said, this tastes good. So I know it's good because my family eats it up every time I make it. And you'll love this dish. So here go. Let's get started. Okay, I have my pork chop my fresh clean pork chops already sitting in the sink so I'm just gonna pat those dry and we're gonna get ready to season them so I'm gonna tell you to season them and then I'm gonna season them okay so you will need kosher salt I have black pepper I have sage because these are apple sage pork chops so you will need sage you will need Saisonador Total Seasoning. And that seasoning has garlic in it, it has garlic powder in it, it has salt, it has onion powder, and it has, um, I said onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. It has a little different kind of seasonings in it, okay? I'm using Italian seasoning, and I'm using some garlic herb seasoning. I'm using kosher salt and parsley, okay? And then I'll tell you the rest of the ingredients when we get ready to move forward to the rest of the ingredients. But right now, I'm going to dry these pork chops off and I'm going to begin to season them. So, hi everybody doing this Friday morning. I am so thankful that today is Friday. I am loving my Friday. I wish I was off, but 11 o'clock tonight I will be. So hope the day go by fast because I'm going to be ready to get up out of there. So to my own calm, oncoming co-worker, be on time. Because I'm going to be ready to go right after I give this report. Okay, so now I'm going to start seasoning. And before I start seasoning, I'm going to um, use a little bit of olive oil, okay? So, my olive oil that I put on here, the reason why I put olive oil on the meat is not only to let the, the um, seasoning stick to it, but also it helps it get nice and brown. Now, we're not going to fry these pork chops. We're going to sear them, okay? Just going to sear them on both sides. And you just want to just pat the olive oil on here. So... It helps them to get nice and golden brown too. It helps your meat. Especially like when you're baking it and you put the olive oil on there. Or you're frying it. It helps that nice crispiness. So that's the reason why I put olive oil on my meat. Okay. So now we're going to start with the seasoning. And excuse me. Let me get my kosher salt. So the front and the back. Okay. Next we have our black pepper. My son is going to be here be in and out, but he's getting ready to wash my car. Thank you, son. And his car. 
Okay, so next, I will be using my Cesar Total by Goya. This is some good seasoning, y'all. I love this seasoning. And on eggs, oh, my Jesus. It tastes so good on eggs. I know, I started using this on my eggs. I'm like, Jesus. I use this and black pepper on my eggs. That's it. Because that has pepper in it also. Okay, next, I'll be doing my garlic and herb seasoning. I'll be doing my garlic and herb seasoning. And why not have some garlic on my pork chops since we're doing garlic and herb, I mean, um, garlic mashed potatoes. So I said, okay, instead of doing the garlic powder, I'll do the garlic and herb. Okay, so next, I did the black pepper already. Did I do the black? Yeah, I did the black pepper already. So next, we'll be doing the. I'll be doing my um, Italian seasoning. You'll need some Italian seasoning. And believe it or not, you guys, this seasoning right here that we putting on, not the soul food seasoning today. Because these are more like a um, herbal, a herb um, pork chops, sage. Okay, so we won't be doing any poultry season or soul food season like that because this recipe don't call for that. But they still gonna be good and they're gonna be seasoned, believe it or not. I'm telling you what I know, because I done did this recipe so many times. It's just my first time doing it for y'all, my apple and sage pork chops. And I said, I don't believe I have a video of my apple sage pork chops, so I'm gonna do a video of my apple sage pork chops. I always cook this dish. Okay, next we'll be using the sage. Okay. So we're going to get the front and the back there. Now, it's not going to taste like sage, like I'm putting too much sage. It's going to be seasoned to the teeth. I'm telling you, because my friend, Lakita Pettis, my best friend, she asked for more. Because this day was just that darn good. To so I just rub this sage in. Just rub it in. Like this. Yeah. So those vegetables cut right here. I mean these seasonings, I'm sorry. Oh Jesus. So these seasonings cut it here and we want our sage. So we just rub it in just like this, bone and all. Now, when doing this recipe, if you can use like boneless pork chops, that'll work too. That'll work best. But I do it with both. The recipe called for boneless. Because I started off with boneless. But I like it with my bone too. 
I just love my, it's just something about this, the bone and pork chop that I love. I guess when they season right, and you know they season right, I like, um, sucking on that bone, or chewing on that bone, because that bone be having some season to it, too. That's why I make sure that I season that well. We have stepping when it comes to nothing on the meat. Okay, so next, we're going to add in our parsley, okay? And as usual, I'm just going to drizzle some parsley flakes on here. Front and back. Okay, and this is what your pork chop should look like after it's been seasoned with everything, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to go over here into the other sink and I'm going to wash my hands. So, y'all, excuse me for a minute. Wait, my... He just done came in here and got the dish detergent. Right when it's time for me to get wash my hands, he comes to get the dish detergent. So I just scooted this back so I can reach up in here and get another bottle of dish detergent so I can wash my hands. So we're gonna get our I got my frying pan on the stove, so we're gonna get that turned on so this pan can get hot. And while that's getting hot. I'm going to be cutting up Okay So I'm going to turn y'all over to this way And right here I have Three apples And some garlic cloves <coughs> Now the garlic cloves is for the mashed potatoes, so we'll deal with that later. But the apples, you're going to need, along with the seasoning, you're going to need three apples. You're going to need a red onion. You're going to need some apple cider vinegar. You're going to need honey. And you're going to need chicken broth. Okay? Okay, so first, with the, um, and you're going to need olive oil for this, because we're not frying, we're just going to sear. So, let me start peeling my apples, okay? So, instead of peeling it, how, how well I'm going to do it like this, I'm going to slice it down the middle, and we're going to take the core out, okay? Usually, this works better with a spoon. Because you can just wiggle a spoon around there and just take the core out like that. I need to get me a little, one of those little, um, core spoons that you use to, to do this with. You know what I'm talking about, right? But however you get it out. It don't matter just as long as you get it out. Because we're not dealing with the core part. We seize. We don't want that. Okay. So I'm going to cut this again. And I need to make sure I got me some. So you're going to need a bowl of water. 
And the reason for the bowl of water is so you can stick the apples in because I don't want my apple turning brown on me. So you're going to need Granny Smith apples and I have three. Okay, so you're going to need like three Granny Smith apples. Then we just slice the apple like this. That's it. So you're going to peel the skin because we don't want the skin, we just want the apple part, okay? And I'm putting them in the water, keep them from turning brown. See how that's turning? It don't take long to turn, but they still be good, y'all. It don't take long for them to turn. And I just did that, and it's turning already. So when I get these chopped, then we'll turn the oven, the um, pan on, okay? And if you like apples, use the um, use more apples. You can cut them how small or how big as you like. Okay, y'all just bear with me. I should have had this part all the way done, but I want to show you guys step by step. And if they tear, that's okay. I didn't get the core out this one, but I'm going to cut it out now. It's okay because it's going to be eaten anyway, right? And they are so good. Oh, I hope y'all try this recipe. It is so good. And these apples, you think they're going to be bitter? Nah. Even though, well, you know, we know that Granny Smith apples is a little bit bitter. But I like Granny Smith apples. But if you like um, the red apples, gala apples, you can do it with red apples. It's just my recipe calls for Granny Smith apples. And you're not going to taste the bitterness in these apples. Trust me on that. Okay, and try not, when you're peeling, try not to peel too deep because you don't want to take away from the apple too much. Like I just did on that one. So this is our last one because we're only doing three. Try to do a light peel so you can still have some apple on there. 
But if you miss and do it, it's okay. No harm done. Right? Almost done. Now, the recipe don't really don't take that long. Once you get like, you know, the apples peeled and everything, because on the meat you just um, searing it, and when we sear our meat, that doesn't take long. White meat doesn't take long to sear. And we both know that pork chops don't take long to get done, right? And we sear them, we're just doing them a couple minutes on each side. We want each side nice and golden brown. But now, we're going to get ready. So let me turn this stove on, y'all. Excuse me for reaching. But let me turn the stove on so we can get ready and start searing our pork chops. Okay. We have our, po our apples, our sliced apples in the water here. Okay, so I turned on the wrong eye. Let me dump this. Okay, so while that's waiting to um. While I'm waiting on the pot to get nice and hot, I'm gonna take these, let's see that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I'm gonna take these 11 fresh garlic cloves and I, tr I smashed them. So it didn't take me long, I didn't have to peel them. I just had to take the hull off after I smashed them. Okay, so I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna dice these up, kinda fine. So I can add these to my um, mashed potatoes. And when you're doing garlic mashed potatoes, you want to have fresh garlic. So I'm going to get me some water in the pot where I can get my um, mashed potatoes to go on. I haven't turned on the heat yet to my broccoli, but I need to get that going because it's already after 11. I need to get this meal going. Okay, 
I'm going to turn y'all over the, the attention to this way because the pan is now hot. I hear the last little bit of water sizzling. So we're going to do this. We're going to pour some olive oil in our pan. Okay, I'm going to take some butter. And I'm going to put it in my pan. Just getting the water ready for my mashed potatoes and I put my salt in there and I put one stick of butter in there so my um meat is ready my butter has melted and we're just gonna lay our pork chops in there just like that So I turn my heat back up. Let's see, can I get another pork chop in here? Okay. So I have four pork chops in my pan. This is what you want when we're searing them. This is what you're looking for. 
Just a nice sear. When you're seasoning your pork chops, when you're searing your pork chops, it's about the seasoning when you sear. Because you can be able to taste all that good flavor. So to my veggies, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth to the bottom of my bowl. Okay, let me get a spoon so I can push this back. Just enough for it to steam. Okay. So I'm going to put my top back on. I'm going to put some butter to that because I'm going to add some butter up in there. So, Okay, let that steam away. Okay, while that's steaming, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slice my red onion up, okay? I'm going to get something to put these pork chops in because they're just about ready to come out. So I'm going to get my dish here, put them in. See it? That's done. We just want them searing. This is how they should look. Okay, I'm going to put a couple more in. I'm trying to work around my... my water ready for my pork chops, let me, for my mashed potatoes, so let me get that. So after this, I got two more to go. Then we can move on to the next step of the um
doing the apple sage pork chops, we can be able to move on to the next step. Well, these are already smelling good. That sage is smelling so darn good. That seasoning on that pork chop is smelling. So I'm going to put these in the oven. So. I'm going to cut this down. Okay, let's see what's going on. This should be... Okay, I'm going to cut my stove down to my mashed potatoes. And I'm going to add my mashed potatoes in, okay? I don't want it to pop up on me. So I am putting my three sticks of butter in right now. Just because these are garlic, butter, mashed potatoes. So, you guys, if you can do fresh, do fresh. But ain't nothing wrong with the box. Trust me. I use the box all the time. Right now, I'm short for time because I got to go to work. But you can take these box mashed potatoes. And um, make them taste like they the real thing. Okay, I'm going to add in my milk. Okay, I'm looking for my pepper. Okay, I got my kosher salt in. Make sure it's well in season. You remember I have, uh, this, this was an onion powder bottle, but I used my white pepper in here. So this is white pepper and an onion powder bottle. So I'm going to just use a little bit of white pepper. Not too much because this is hot. Now all this garlic flavor, we're going to add that right on in. I like 
my mashed potatoes kind of stiff. I don't like them loose. I don't want them running all over the plate. Okay, I think that'll be it. And the reason why I keep adding them is because I want them stiff. Now they're where I need them to be at. So now we're going to get ready and turn these over. These are nice and seared. See, all you got to do is just put them in a little bit of grease and olive oil, olive oil and butter and let them sear. And see how nice and brown they're getting? That's what we want. If you need to add more olive oil, add it. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead, let y'all see. I'm going to go ahead and finish frying up these last two of um, pork chops. And then before I move on to the next step, I'll be right back. But I'm going to let y'all see what this dinner comes what it look like when it comes together so I'm gonna I'm fry up these last two and then I'll be back stay tuned for more okay welcome back I have my pot here I'm done my pan and I'm just gonna scrape some of these crumbs up from the um from the bottom of the pan So what I'm doing now is getting ready to build my sauce for this dish, okay? So we're going to add in our onions. And I took the red onion and I sliced it up. Okay, along with the onions, I'm going to add in my apples. And we 
get all these right here acquainted with that little gravy, those little scrapings from the bottom of the pan. That's flavor. We want that. Okay, you definitely want that flavor. Okay, so to that, I'm gonna add in one cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay, I'm gonna do another cup of apple cider vinegar. Just two capfuls of apple cider vinegar, okay? That's all you need. To that, and you're gonna have to eyeball this. I'm gonna add in the I'm gonna drizzle in the honey. gonna stir it up. I still got it down low. You can smell that apple cider vinegar. Oh, I don't want no onions going fine. I don't need those. This recipe calls for red onions. Red onions are flavorful. Okay, and to that, I'm going to place my meat back into my bowl. Okay. Look at here, y'all. See that? Mm. I wish I could just my taste this meat. Just for them to see how seasoned it is. Mm. To that we're gonna add in. Now it doesn't matter if we get some seat some um chicken stock on the meat because this season ain't coming off. It's on now. So we're gonna pour our chicken stock on and we're gonna let it, we're gonna cut it down low and we're just gonna let it simmer. Okay? And I used the whole, at least that wasn't whole, but it was filled up enough. until this just like simmer a little bit and turns into some gravy and this is what we're going to add on our mashed potatoes so we're trying to get a lot in this pot i have 10 pork chops in i'm trying to fit them all in this frying pan So when I apples, I'm gonna cover this. I gotta see can I find my, my um, top. So when I apples go to getting tender, you guys, look how good that look. Guys, you can't tell me that apple sage pork chops don't look good already. When our apples go to getting tender, soft, in other words, it's done. We already know the meat done. But we need the apples to get soft. When they start getting soft, it's done. And I'll come back and show you guys what this recipe is going to look like all together. I don't know what happened to my big top. 
this cook okay so like I said I'll be back to you guys to show you what it looks like when our apples are done so we're gonna let them get nice and tender I got them turned down low so they just can take their time and get tender up and then we'll pull this meal together and I'll show you guys what it looks like so I'm just gonna cover it up let it do its thing and I'll see you guys, Spike, in a few. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. I'm going, my dinner is done. And I've been running my mouth a little bit talking with my sis. So, excuse me, let me cut off this fan. Yeah. To my sis, so I'm gonna fix my plate now and I'm gonna show you guys what this dinner looks like. Here's my stiff mashed potatoes, just the way I like them. I'm gonna use this to get me some broccoli. And a little squash. Okay, now let me get one of these delicious apples over here. Oh, I cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe. Because this is so good, I must tell you, it is good. Oops. Put some apples on here. Huh? Okay. I want you guys to take a really close look at that. chops with garlic butter mashed potatoes look at that you guys zucchini and squash and broccoli veggies but look at that pork chop it tastes so good this is my dinner for work It tastes so good. Apple, sage, pork chops. Give this recipe a try. I'm telling you. I'm not kidding. Y'all, it is just that good. Mmm. 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 
and hot. But it is so good. See our apples? It is so good. Mmm. And the meat is well seasoned. Oh my god, this is so good. I am going to be so ready to eat denim on my job tonight. Because this is a good meal and it's going to be gone because my kids love it. Apple sage pork chops. If you like this recipe, make this recipe. Take the time and make this recipe step by step. The directions will be in the description box below. If you got to rewind the video back and to see how I do it. Take it. It's easy. Make this recipe. It's delicious. You will love these apple sage pork chops. If you never had pork chops this way, in fact, if you never had pork chops with apples, Taste this recipe. You will love these apple sage pork chops. They are just that good. Apple sage pork chops with garlic butter mashed potatoes. And you can have any side with it that you want. For this particular dinner recipe, I like mashed potatoes with mine. I like it better with mashed potatoes than I do rice. Then I like my veggies on the side. You can do any veggies that you like. If you're landing on this channel for the first time, take the time to subscribe. I thank you all for watching. Try this video. I mean, try this, this recipe. Apple Sage Pork Chops 101. Try it. And I tell you, once you try it, you'll be making it again, again, and again. And I ain't telling you no lie. I'm telling you the God and this truth, okay? God is my witness. You will be making this pork chop again if you like it because you're going to like it because it's just that good. So, Apple Sage Pork Chops 101. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. I thank you all for watching. Until the next recipe, God bless. And I will see you guys later with another fabulous recipe. Everybody, be blessed and have a wonderful day.